today i would like to present two cases of another cause of pseudotosis which is known as dermatocalasis we have already discussed pseudotosis in detail so one of the cause was dermatocalasis now dermatocalasis is a condition which presents with loose and redundant eyelid skin it is more pronounced in the upper lids but can affect lower lids as well and often seen in elderly people and sometimes associated with orbital fat prolapse aging leads to weakening of the connective tissue and due to weakening of the connective tissue loss of skin elasticity occurs so that leads to increase in the effect of gravity due to loss of elasticity the skin is weighed down by the effect of gravity so all these factors leads to lateral hooding of the upper eyelids the risk factors are old age fair skin male sex positive family history increased body mass index and smoking diagnosis is clinical you need to mayor and palpate redundant extra loose skin mayor the levator function and also take into account prolapsed fat you can also do visual fields to check functional disability bilateral hooding the differential diagnosis is blepharochalasis which occurs in young age and due to on and off eyelid edema treatment of dermatocalasis is mainly surgical blepharoplasty care should be taken to ensure enough skin remains for adequate eyelid closure now if there is fat herniation pre epineurotic fat trimming is also done risks of the surgery are bleeding leg of thalamus scarring so now you know about the dermatocalasis as a pseudotosis as well thank you very much